Finally tonight, it's pretty gutsy for a mere human to try to improve on nature's beauty, but the artist you're about to meet does just that along the shorelines of the world. Sand is his paint, a rake is his brush, and the beach his canvas. Here's John Blackstone. The designs raked into beach sand are sometimes spontaneous and free-flowing, sometimes geometric and precise, but their beauty is always fleeting, waiting to be washed away. They are the work of 42-year-old Andres Amador. Once you start to rake, more ideas come in? More ideas, but also it kind of just the process just starts to drive its own direction of how it will actually look. Amador calls himself an earthscape artist. His designs often cover a space as large as a football field, created on beaches from California to the Caribbean. Where does the art come from? I would say my biggest inspiration is uh, nature and the patterns that I see around me. But I'm trying to translate the world that I see and try to understand it. It took two hours to complete this project at San Francisco's Ocean Beach. One deep stroke. Yeah, there you go. Good. And then across here. How it looked wasn't clear until the end. From down here, it's hard to get a sense of it's actually turning out. It's as if you're a painter, but you're blindfolded yes. working on the campus. <laughs> Amador was educated as an environmental scientist and worked in computer programming before giving it up for his artistic passion 10 years ago. I never would have thought that I could make be making a living raking in the sand. He uses a camera mounted on a quadcopter to take high sky images. He sells them online, a set of postcards for $25 larger prints for more than $300. Beachgoers who come across his unusual art seem drawn in to get a closer look. I'm a humble person in that regard. I don't think that I'm doing some monumental thing for humanity, but I think that um, in a small way, I'm contributing to the happiness of the people who get to experience it and that it does something for them. When the tide takes it away, Amador has a blank slate to do it all again. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.